Hello, Professor Black. Ah, mm -hmm. Professor Weasley. How, how delightful to see you. Sir? Ah, uh, since I have you here, I wonder if I might, um... Lumos. Welcome back to Hogwarts Legacy. Jacques Bender here. We are going to continue with the trials. Now we are... Let's get back into the map chamber. Our Fitzgerald was supposed to prepare something regarding the third trial. And now it is time. Let's see what Welcome kind back. of quest this is going to be. Hello, Professor. I have news. The goblins are looking for something. Another repository. They've built drills to help with their search. Oh, most troubling. Are these repositories like the broken container I found at Rookwood Castle? They are. I fear we have no time to lose. Have a look at the map. Fortunately, the next trial is fairly nearby. It's Hogwarts. As you know, I was headmistress in my time. My portrait hangs in the headmaster's office. In fact, I witnessed Professor Black learn of your arrival. And I'll confess that I wondered about you. Wait, is the next trial in the headmaster's office? It is. I had hoped that when the time came, the occupant of that office would be of help to us. Unfortunately, this headmaster seems wildly unconcerned with anything but himself. You'll need to access the office while he's away. I understand. Very well. We'll find some way to get in. Good. I shall meet you in my portrait there. Until then. How right. will I gain access to the headmaster's office? Perhaps Professor Fig will know what to do. What am I to do, Professor Fitzgerald? You must meet me in the headmaster's office to begin the next trial. But make sure that the office is empty. Okay. So I guess no one can be inside. Um... I guess there will be some time skip or something. <laughs> we should speak with Mr. Bickle's friends. I believe I can sneak away without drawing my mother's eye. Meet me near Hogsmeade and we will devise a plan. Why am I receiving that mail right before starting the quests? That's annoying. Mr. Bicker's friends near Hogsmeade. That will be for after the trial, I guess. Though there could be more interesting quests first. We'll see. Let's get into it. Professor Fig, the keepers have shown me where the next trial is. Has something changed? Lodgog and I have learned that the goblins are searching for another repository, like the one we saw at Rookwood Castle. And I discovered that they're building massive drills to help in their search. Professor Fitzgerald seemed very concerned. I see. Ranrock clearly knows even more than we suspected. And sir, there's something else. Lodgok knew Miriam. He knew Miriam? They encountered each other at Rookwood Castle. She was doing research. That's where she found the container with the port key. He liked her so much that he let her leave with it. Despite orders from Ranrock. I don't know what to say. She could win over almost anyone. I want to hear more of this. And, in fact, I'd like to speak with Lodgok directly. But we've no time now. Where is the next trial? Believe it or not, it's in the headmaster's office. Incredible. Very well, you'll need the password to get past the stone gargoyle. The headmaster's house elf will know it. I don't know the headmaster's house elf. Will he even speak to me? I imagine he's loyal to the headmaster. He is. So you'll need a disguise. I have just the thing. A polyjuice potion. You'll look and sound like Professor Black. Wait. Doesn't polyjuice potion require a bit of the person you want to change into? And take ages to brew? It does. So how do you already have polyjuice potion to change into Professor Black? One never knows when such a thing may come in handy. Let's just say I felt the need to be prepared for anything 
after my fruitless trip to the ministry on his behalf. Now, time is of the essence. Drink up and I shall explain more. How do you feel? Incredible. I won't forget that taste anytime soon. <clears throat> How do I sound? Convincing. I've taken the liberty of transfiguring your robes. As we discussed, you'll need the password from Scrope, who could be anywhere in the castle. You might look for Professor Kagawa. She's taken to badgering the poor elf about Quidditch in the hopes that he can convince Black to change his mind. Thus far, unsuccessfully. I see. But what if Professor Black sees me? Leave him to me. I shall tell him where to meet a liaison from the Ministry in Hogsmeade. That should give you plenty of time. Thank you, Professor. I suppose we'll meet again in the map chamber. It's rather strange to hear gratitude coming from Professor Black. <laughs> I'll see you there. Now to find the Headmaster's house elf. Well, what a turn of event. Nice. Hmm. There's a statue here. I should pick it up when I have the time. Now, let's see the reaction of people around. Students. Professors. Do you have a moment, Professor? Oh. Professor, I was hoping to catch you. I... Oh, I, um, places to be, Professor Sharp. Places to be. Of course, sir. Only, <clears throat> you'd asked me about a particular potion, and I... Well, I... I did? I did, yes. Well, spit it out, Sharp. I don't have all day. Probably best not to discuss it here, sir. Well. Really? Why can't we talk about potions here? Seems fine to me. Very well. I've brewed the cure for boils you wanted. I can drop it by your office when it's convenient. <laughs> of course, yes. No need for all the cloak and dagger. Simply have a student deliver it. A student. Very well, sir, if you insist. I do. And thank you, Sharp. I just hope you've brewed enough for all my boils. Now, to determine which student gets this rather unenviable task. <clears throat> I wonder almost daily why I accepted this appointment from the Ministry. Gareth! Uh, Mr. Weasley! What are you doing here? Don't you have uh, somewhere to be? Oh, Professor, yes, of course. All sorts of places I'd rather be right now. Uh, do you need something from me? I'm looking for my house elf. Surely you've seen him? Ah, the little one-eared fellow. I saw him heading to the Great Hall moments ago. Muttering on about your, um, sterling graces, sir. I am watching you, Mr. Weasley. Mr. Redding, who owns Honeydukes, tells me some of his billywig stings recently went missing. Prime potion ingredient. And I know you fancy yourself a skilled potioneer. What? But, sir, I haven't been anywhere near Honeydukes. I... Bah! That's enough from you. Just know that I have eyes and ears everywhere. On your way, Mr. Weasley. Headmaster, here, what could he want? Mr. Gaunt, where do you think you're going? I beg your pardon, sir. I'm simply on my way outside. Taking the day off, eh? Typical student, wasting the hours away. I... I have to write 20 inches on Dittany, and its uses was heading to the greenhouse. Ah, yes! Mixed with, uh, bubo tuba pus makes a, a fine, uh, mustache paste. Yes, mustache paste. Uh, I find. <clears throat> Are you feeling all right, sir? You don't seem yourself. I assure you I am quite healthy, Gaunt. If I need a medical diagnosis, I shall head to St. Mungo's. Thing is very wrong. When I witness what passes for magic in these halls, I, uh, I... S simply mourn for the future of the wizarding world. Professor Black, again. 
It is not too late to reconsider your decision regarding Quidditch. We... We could still have trials and a somewhat shortened season. It would be better than none at all. But the injury, Madam Kagawa. Professor, more than one student has taken a bludger to the head on our pitch. I dare say it knocked some sense into them. And they are fine now. The fact that it happened to be a pure blood, well, that's no reason to... What? Nonsense. That you would trivialize the health of a student over a, a silly game. A silly game? I... You are quite impossible sometimes. Sir, I have a good mind to write to the Department of Magical Games and Sports at the Ministry about you. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna... We're gonna scapegoat the professor. Good idea. I can even provide the parchment should you need it. Now, where is my elf? I... parchment? Very well, I will, and with pleasure. And I spotted Scrope in the Great Hall. Seems to be avoiding me. Hmm, I wonder why. Good day, Madam Kagawa. What did we do to deserve him as a headmaster? If you must speak with me, consult my secretaries or what have you. Now move along. I hope it's not about anything I've been doing. Miss Broom, a word. Oh, Professor, this is an uh, interesting surprise. It's Bloom, by the way. Remind me of your area of affinity, Broom. OWLs are swift approaching. Charms, sir. Non-verbal spells. Might work on one that makes me disappear. Well, keep at it, Broom. And before you know it, you'll be as invisible as that new fifth year seems to be. They're not invisible. I mean, I've seen them about. I mean, yes, sir. <laughs> Speaking of invisible, where's my blasted house elf? Well, um... Something seems a little off with the headmaster. Professor? Uh -oh. A word, please. Hello, Professor Black. Ah, mm -hmm. Professor Weasley. How, how delightful to see you. Sir? Ah, uh, since I have you here, I wonder if I might, um, speak with you about Professor Fig. Oh, very well. I've decided to give him a bit more, uh, leeway with his time. Leeway, Professor? Are you sure that's wise? I confess I do worry for his students. He's rarely here as it is. Ah, well, yes. He's handling some official ministry business for me. I see. But, sir, if I may, I am wary of how much time the new fifth year seems to be spending away from the castle, supposedly on Professor Fig's behalf. I've heard unsettling rumors of their escapades. Everything from sneaking into the Forbidden Forest to confronting Ranrock's loyalists and Rookwood's lot. <coughs> what? <coughs> Goodness. You cannot believe everything you hear, Professor. No, 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 you cannot. <clears throat> I mean, I shall keep an eye on Fig. You simply keep doing the wonderful job that you're doing. <laughs> simply wonderful. I... well, I... Um, thank you. But I'm happy to look into... Uh, good, good. That'll be all, Weasley. I, I mean, Professor Weasley. Good day. Not strange at all. A wonderful job. Leeway for Professor Fig. I shall never understand that man. That ought to give Professor Fig some breathing room. <clears throat> oh, we may have a speech in front of everyone. Scrope's as hard a worker as any house elf. Scrope! Oh, greetings, Master. Remind me of the password to my office. Oh, but Master made Scrope swear never to tell anyone, even Master himself. And now I'm telling you that you can tell me. Uh, uh yes, sir. Uh, of course, sir. Uh, Scrope begs forgiveness. It is the Black Family motto, Master. Hmm. Right. Of course, I, uh... Master does remember it. Hmm, I guess that's Harry Potter lore. Must have something to do with the Witch of Blood. 
Or family's rain. It's not strength. Let's go with blood. It's pure blood forever, isn't it? Uh, uh, close, master. Uh, Scrope thinks master is indeed testing Scrope. Uh, it is always pure. <laughs> Obviously. And, of course, as master knows, in French. Ah, yes, of course. Uh, I order you to pronounce it for me. Oh, but master knows that Scrope's French is most pitiful. Oh, uh, very well. Toujours pur. Ha! Thank you. Never speak of this conversation with me or anyone else. Of course, sir. Scrope shall try his best to keep out of Master's way. Uh. All right. Uh, Attention, students. I hereby decree that the Great Hall be forthwith decorated in the elegant banners of Ravenclaw. Uh. Ready? <laughs> we are forcing our own house on the school. Fine. Um. Reduce potion and wear it off. <clears throat> Made it just in time. It's well. Fig was right. I can't believe it worked. Now, to speak the password to the gargoyle. Toujours pure. pure. Always pure. Toujours pure. French words. I wonder if all the elite wizarding families have a motto. Well, well. Time to sneak around. The sorting hat. Level 3 lock. Level 2. Let's loot the master's office because we are bandits. It's good to see you. All thanks to Professor Fig's quick thinking. Now what? Approach the pedestal in the antechamber and read the book that appears. I suspect there will be more to this than reading a book. Your suspicions are correct. We shall speak when you are finished. Has this been under the headmaster's nose all this time? Let's drink the headmaster's cup of tea. Eat his food. He won't suspect anything. This is the pensive. That must be the pedestal. A book of memories, maybe? <laughs> Yeah, just like the Tom Riddle's book in Harry Potter 2, The Chamber of Secrets. Where am I? Professor Fitzgerald, can you hear me? I am here. In this place, you may call me Neve. You shall be witness to a fable. Pay attention. Things are not always as they seem. You must move swiftly and cautiously. Use the tools you encounter to find me. The first you will need is a cloak. Hmm, strange. Without being seen. I'm to find Niam among the ruins of this strange town, but where is she? Has she avoided death? In this place, as in life, death takes many forms. Avoid each of them at all costs. Makes me think of those... Um, I'm not sure, comic books? Where everything is in black and white and... 
with some art style. <coughs> really? Do I have sneaking spells at least? Can I go through houses? No. I shall sneak. Cannot use a revelio. I should have run when I could. I'd be free by now. What a strange world. out of here. Where could Neve be? Should distract them, right? No, I cannot use my wand. I can only move, not distract. Uh, this one is facing... Strange. I'm gonna try it nonetheless. I need to time oh, this just moving. right. Let's be quick. That was unstealthy. I see. A staircase straight ahead. Oh. Run. Run away. Now is the time. <laughs> Death. I hope there's a good explanation to this. be able to find me if I go up there. Come on. Okay, those are out of access. I must use the ladder. Sneaking from rooftops. Just like in Assassin's Creed games. This is my chance. I'm coming, Neve. Hmm. Too many. I must cross this road as fast as I can. Yeah, but doing so while sneaking is impossible. I'm waiting to see if this one on the right is gonna turn around. Maybe the one on the left is gonna turn around. Let's try it. Mm. No, didn't. That's where I need to go, but I need to find a way past them. Oops. Yep, I wasn't looking in front of me. That was bound to happen. I'd best move while I can. This again. Eve must be here somewhere. Too many. I must cross this road as fast as I can. You sneak here. You wait. Here, because he's turning around. 
What about behind? We seem to be clear. This one is That's where I need to go. Problem. But I need to find a way past them. Oh. There are corpses on the ground. That is horrible. Death again. What kind of trial is this? Nothing this way, but more danger. There must be another way to find you. I need to turn back. There's no getting past them that way. Oh. That door oh, closed tight. No way but forward, I suppose. How did they manage to to pick up a wig and white potion here? In this void world, or whatever it is. I can jump, but it makes noise, right? And I can use spells? Revelio wasn't working before. Now it is. my chance yeah if only I could go slightly faster than this an open field this is a trap that's the way forward Mr. Uskrook. Can this be? I think I'm invisible. Is this a reenactment re of the Deathly Hallows or something? Where you hide from death and then there is the Elder Wand and whatever. So, what's next? Can go through here. This way is open. Can I sneak past them now? They can't see me at all. I can get closer to them. Yeah, that, that must be one of the Deathly Hallows. That's the only logical explanation. This is the way forward. <laughs> Finally free. Now, where are you, Neve? You have outrun death thus far, but have yet to find me. Keep searching, but this time you will be unable to hide. Wield the wand you see before you. Do not squander its extraordinary power. Yeah, definitely hellos. Those are not my spells. They are automatically retributed. I'm just gonna do something. I don't think the game's gonna crash, but I'd rather save. Just to be safe. Depulsing. Descender. 
Hmm. My fast dodge still works. Am I going to fight? That's shadow. One shot, one shot killing you. Whenever I use a specific spell. Combos is most useful. What's this? I saw some kind of sparking light. Green or blue? Now. Some more potions. Death again. Am I gonna fight it? Nope, I'm gonna fight Rose. Dodging. I cannot dodge another attack while I am already dodging something. I need to use the attacking spells on the troll and the other ones on on the death shadow to be more efficient. Oops. Wrong way. And wrong move. Not much left. Oh, I could use the rock. Dodge this, parry this one. Perform a drilling combo. Oh, that's a dog.
Too early. I'm just trying to accomplish the dueling feats. That's why. I'm playing not that great. <clears throat> not my bit. Oops. Well, forget it. I'm just gonna complete it as fast as I can. I do have access to ancient magic here. Ooh. I guess. Oops. They're using kind of the cursed. Oh, the, the, uh, the death curse, I mean, sorry. <clears throat> Did it. I was blocking, why didn't it work? Ah, anyway. Death Dark Mongo. Right, time for ancient magic. We wrap this up quickly. Did that work? I guess it did. See a hippogriff, maybe on the walls. A simple stone. This must be for me. I don't remember the sacrifice stone or soul stone. I don't remember the exact name. Nothing is what it seems. I guess I'm gonna see faces of people I know or something. She's gone. Leaves dead. So this must be a reenactment of dead. after she died. Oh poor Neve. Gone so young. I mean uh, Professor Fitzgerald. <laughs> Let us always honor her memory. We won't be the same without her. Who's this? Is that her? Yeah. 
Is she blinking? Wait, I think I saw her blinking. Yeah, she's blinking. You found me. But you cannot undo what has been done. The magic of the stone can only conjure a shadow of my former self. And why am I doing this? But there is no light without shadow as there is no shadow without light. Simply because you can eliminate darkness does not always mean that you should. Remember that as you witness my memory. Who is that big statue supposed to represent? Is that Isidora? I cannot press V to show more information. Niam Fitzgerald's memories. did for your father was remarkable, wasn't it? And Percival needn't worry about the strands of emotion or the traces that this magic leaves. I found a way to contain all of it. You haven't stopped. Goblin Silver. You spoke to a goblin about this. Don't worry, he has no idea what we're containing. We don't know what effect any of this may have. The emotions, the dark traits... You sound like Percival. And as it happens, I do know. It is a source of strength, of focus. Somehow it enhances my ability to wield magic. I don't follow, Isadora. I think we can harness it. Power like this is not to be toyed with in the wrong hands. I saw again. what I did for my father. Oh, imagine the good we could do. Everyone is in some kind of pain. Breathe it in. Oh, can you feel it? Oh, it's Adora. This must stop. All of us. You've kept this power to yourselves for so long because you fear it. I choose to embrace it. How did I arrive here? I was in the headmaster's office. Well, well, well. Uh, this does not explain how she died exactly, man. Yeah. Niam led me to Repentive, where I am to witness the next memory the keepers left for me. Yep. That we did. Speak to the newly arrived keeper. The fourth one. Wait, before that, can I... No. Cannot talk. Is it true? Has someone completed the first three trials? It is, and I have. But... You are so... Young. I know. You must be Professor Bacar. I am. Pleased to meet you. The pensive memory I just witnessed. Was Isadora inhaling painful emotions? She was. <laughs> I 
I can either say that it was fascinating or disturbing. I guess the obvious answer is disturbing, but I'm going for fascinating. I wanna see the reactions. I was amazed to see that it seemed to give her some sort of power and that she could harness it. But how? I worry that you seem more intrigued than repulsed. I hesitate to reveal the location of my pensive to someone who, perhaps, has yet to understand the responsibility of power. I can assure you, Professor, I do. In fact, what you don't yet know is that a dangerous goblin called Ranrock has accessed the repository at Rookwood Castle. He has learned to harness the contents of it as a source of immense power. He plans to use that power against wizard kind. We have no time to waste. I see. Nonetheless, the knowledge you shall gain after you witness my memories is too valuable to share without further consideration. I shall require time to confer with the other keepers. It seems we have no choice but to wait, frustrating as it is. I heard what you told Professor Bakar. Isadora was inhaling emotions to gain power? She was, and she pulled emotions, as she did from her father, from Professor Fitzgerald, without permission. Monstrous. What's more, she said that she found a way to store the traces of magic she extracted in Goblin Silver. The repositories? Possibly. There's something I didn't get a chance to tell you earlier. Ranrock has been digging at locations tied to the five names he found in the journals of a goblin metal worker named Bragball. Five names? The Keepers, and who else? Isadora Morganak? Precisely. That's how he's been one step ahead of us. Gringotts, the Tower, Rookwood Castle. If the Keepers won't tell you where the next trial is yet, I say we at least maintain a watch on Ranrock. Perhaps he'll lead us to more information. Perhaps. I hope to hear from Lodgok soon. I haven't heard anything since I learned of the drills. Oh, and as you've probably guessed by now, your Polyjuice plan worked like a charm. I knew it would. I may have done too good a job distracting Black. I had no idea he can't hold his fire whiskey. Well. That was the third trial with an interesting fight with death itself, I guess. Um, I'm waiting. With I shouldn't have reacted so bitterly about your goblin friend. I apologize. I hope we can finish what we started with the triptych. Please meet me at the southern coast. We can search for the final canvas piece. A new mail would arrive, that's why I kept silent. The mail of Professor Weasley was mute. Why? Dick tells me he shared with you his experience with the Phoenix. Okay, something new for the room of requirements. Sebastian's right here. Southern coast. We can search for the final canvas piece. Well, things are finally getting into the thick of things. Uh, we can expect more interesting stuff for the next part. Um, yeah, I, I will cut the video here. Thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, leave a like, subscribe and have a look at the other videos too. I'll put the link in the description of the video and see you in the next one.